Hello everyone, today I'm just sharing with you a little kit I've purchased from a store called Luscious, Lace, Luscious Laces and that is a Facebook store and the store is actually located in Australia and the lady who runs the group is called Annette um, a lot of you may already know of her and she had a kit out and it was it was a tote a tote bag kit and I thought I would buy one and have some fun making one and it just arrived so my idea was to show you the kit and then see if we could alter it and I'll film it while I'm altering it um, so here we go let's have a look what we've got here so this is the basic tote kit and then you could purchase a color kit to go with this um, and the color kit to go with it was ten dollars and the this is the basic tote kit which consists of a tote bag which is which is this and that's wow it's, it's actually quite big so it goes that's the bottom there and it goes all the way so it's it's um it's like a shopping bag isn't it but it's a tote bag so and that's made of a good quality calico and it has the two handles at the top there it's quite roomy actually it's a good size and then we have a handmade because she made these herself and she has a pocket on the inside a large pocket I think it goes the full length of there we go the full length of the the bag itself and the bottom feels like it's thicker it's like a double thickness maybe triple not quite sure it's thicker than the rest of the bag so let me just mo move that out of the way and we'll have a look at the goodies that go with the bag and so here we go so we have four satin flowers aren't they pretty little ribbon flowers so we have four of those and there's three doilies they're pretty doilies look at those so there's two two of those ones and then there's this one and it's in a slightly darker tone isn't that a pretty doily it's really pretty it's got tiny little flowers in it and then we have some lace and this is a very pretty white lace it's really lovely it's very soft so we have a good amount of that it's quite long not quite sure how long I'm presuming a meter but I let's just have a look is what's that just over a meter just over a meter um, in length so we have that lovely lace and then we have a gathered lace oh that's pretty it's got a slight corded effect on it and and just a slight gather so it's not over gathered it's just got a slight flounce to it. I'm trying to want to do this quick so we can get on to the making as well. Then we have a thin lace trim and there's a lot of that and that's really good for your bows and dangles and things like that and that's in the white and then we have this lovely embroidery on glaze and it's really really soft too. It's not um not stiff or anything that's really pretty and that's in an off-white also and that's it's, it's a nice wide one isn't it it's lovely and then we have some seam binding oh that's that really soft one I love that one and it's such a pretty color too some seam bindings I find you get and they're hard and this one's the soft one it's really lovely isn't it oh, I do like that I'm just about out of that so that's good and then we have a cotton trim 
crochet trim I should say. It's lovely. And then another white lace. It's very pretty, isn't it? Very pretty. And there's about a meter of that one. And then oh I love this sort of thing. We have this little, it's like an eyelet trim, this one. And that's also in a, a creamy colour. And then we have this beautiful gathered lace. Isn't that lovely? It's got the netted background. It's really pretty, isn't it? And there's a good amount of that as well. Quite a lot of that one. And that's in an off-white. So that's really lovely. And then I purchased the latte kit. They, I think there were there was um, there was a white kit, there was a blue kit, a pink kit, a peachy colour kit, a aqua kind of colour kit. There was the latte kit, and I think there was a yellow kit. There was a huge variety of colours. Um, I chose the one that I thought I would, you know, work. The one that I would. Um, you know that would go with what I've got around here because I intend to use this bag for something um, specific. Oh look aren't they pretty? Oh they're really pretty. So we have, they, they look like buttons but they're not buttons. They're just like little um, embellishments. Very pretty aren't they? So we have four of those. We have two organza flowers and it's like in a, a goldish tone, isn't it? It's lovely. So we have two of those and then we have all very nicely presented as well. There we go. We have this lovely organza ribbon in the same colour as the flowers here and oh, isn't that clever um, some more eyelet trim and she's threaded a little bit through just to show what you can use the ribbon for if you want to I mean obviously you don't have to um, and it all goes ever so lovely with this one over here as well so that is my tablet making that noise and I don't know why it does that so we have that one. Um, did I show you that up close? It's really nice. It's really nice. And look at this. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Isn't that unusual? That's lovely. It's really something special, isn't it? There's quite a good amount of that as well. And then we have this, uh, I don't know what colour, copper? It's like a copper colour um, bling mesh. So probably half a metre or so of that. And we have some more crochet trim. It's actually a very generous amount in this kit. We have some great, and it's a nice soft one, which is lovely. It's a lovely soft one. We have, oh, isn't that pretty? That's really nice, isn't it? And it's a, it's not a bright white, it's an off-white also. Isn't that lovely? It's really soft too. I like that. And then we have another mesh lace. And that's in a real coffee colour, that one. If you put it like against that, you can see it's got a real coffee, hence the kit being called latte, I guess. <laughs> and then lastly, we have this crochet trim here, and it has a, like a khaki colour going through it, if you can see. 
So, and we have a good amount of that one also. So that's that's a lot to work with, isn't it? And there's also there's also a little thank you gift here. I like the little bag. Oh, we have isn't that pretty? It's another embroidery on glaze trim. That's lovely, isn't it? Look at that. That's very pretty, so that'll go lovely with the rest of it. Uh, now I do kind of have an idea of what I want to do with this, um, but of course sometimes the best laid plans can change when you get things in front of you. So I am just, I'm going to, I think, I want tea dye something or coffee dye something. I think there was one in here that I, it was probably a bit of this one because I don't want that stark white. Um, I'm not too sure about that one. And I'm going to uh, am I going to do that one as well? It's ever so pretty, isn't it? No. So I'm just going to go and dip that into, I think, a very weak coffee. Uh, yes, that should be fine. That one can go in coffee. That'll give it this kind of um, look maybe tea maybe I'll do tea first and if that doesn't turn out then I will try the coffee so and then I'll come and get started on the kit I'll be back soon okay so I'm back I did dye the lace with some tea but I found that it looked a bit too pink so I've dipped it into some black coffee and it's I've rinsed it and it's drying on the line um, but that's okay, we don't need to be using that right now. I've got the bag in front of me here. I'm going to, I'll try and keep it in frame as much as I possibly can. I only have a small area to work on. So, as you can see, that's the bottom of the bag folded. That's the top of the bag. And that's the, that's the bottom of the bag there. It opens up like that, see, it's, that's the bottom like that. And I folded it up there, and the reason I folded it up there is because I'm going to cut it. I'm just using that as my guide, and I'm cutting straight across here, like that. Like that. And you're probably all passing out now. <laughs> Um, but there's a reason I'm doing that. I have decided I'm going to make mine a bit smaller than what it is because I saw Gail made a tote, uh, not a tote, a tool bag. She altered a tool bag and that is Gail who is father of four and I really like the idea of having a tool bag or a storage bag um, and I knew I was, you know, I'd already ordered this I think when I saw Gail's and I thought well um, you know, I'll do something along those lines, but it, when it arrived, it was a bit bigger than I thought, so I'm just going to alter it, and that's what we do, isn't it? Okay, so what I'm going to do is, that's the bottom of the bag, as you can see. I'm going to put the top inside the bottom, and, and stitch, I'm going to stitch mine together. If you are a glue person, then you're going to glue them together and I'm going to make pockets around um, well I'm not going to make it all around the side but you can do that if you want to I'm just going to make one pocket um, and that will also kind of stiffen it up a bit too and I'm going to keep laces and things in here um, and it's still a huge size and it still has its pocket inside as well to put your scissors and things like that in so what I recommend doing is the part I've cut, the part that will be a little bit visible, I'm going to roll the hem over and sew that. If you're a gluer, you would probably glue it. And then I'm going to sew it at the bottom and down here and up the sides. 
um, if you are a gluer that's where you would glue if if you're gluing do it in small stages so that you don't get glue everywhere um, so let's just take that's the top part I've taken out and I'm trying not to make this confusing this is at the bottom of our bag first thing I'm going to do is turn the hem over and stitch it now I can turn it over once or I can turn it over twice it depends how how deep I want to leave that um, I'm probably only going to turn it over once purely because I know I'm going to decorate this as well um, and you know there's going to be glue on it so it's not going to fray away to nothing so I have my sewing machine here I will just stitch a hem around there and then I'll be back I won't show that because I'm just sewing Finished that. I'm just going to trim the threads off. So I ran out of thread halfway around. So okay, so we've just put a hem around the top of it. And like I said, if you glue, you would glue that. Um, okay, and now we have the top part of our bag. And I think that can go, I'm just making sure I've got it the right way. I don't know if there is a right or wrong way to be honest. Uh, let me just look at my sides here. Oh, there's a pocket on both sides, so that's okay. Let's have a look. So I want to put this inside of the other piece like that I'm just going to look at my seams and make sure they yeah they're fine um, and see what our difference is Now, do remember that there's going to be lace all over this, so it's, you know, um, it's okay if it's a little bit out. Don't um, panic or anything like that too much because it's it will be covered. Now, just, I'm going to pin mine in place. I'm just thinking, ladies that glue, ladies that glue might want to start at the at the bottom inside here and glue the bottom part of this top part along the bottom part of that not to the base part but just inside here if you want to um, another alternative that might be easier for people gluing would be just to put some glue up that side seam, match it with the top side seam and glue it there. And once you've got all your side seams the same, if you feel you need a little bit of glue down here inside, then put it there. So I'm just um, I'm going to pin mine in place now. I'm going to try and keep it even as I can. The seams. So I'm going to go around and pin each of the corners together and once I've done that I'll come back. Okay, so there we go. I have pinned my four corners as you can see there. I've pinned the sides on either and it, it's pretty straight, you know, like if you see, if you match your sides, there's the same distance. Um, 
here and here and the same there as well. So as long as it's fairly straight you should be fine. Now all I'm going to do is sew up each corner. If you were gluing, you do your gluing now. Okay, so I'm just going to sew that on my sewing machine and I'll be back once I've done that. Okay, so I've sewn that and as you can see all I did was, um, that's the lengthways side of the bag and I have sewn on the length side in that ditch there um, so as not to have to go over the seams because they're all facing they're all facing um, into that side gusset so I just sewed it on the edge of the front okay so now we have one large pocket at the front we have a side pocket here another pocket on the other side and another side pocket there we also still have our side pockets on either end inside and I've left a thread by the look of it um, now you need to think or decide do you want do you want these to be big pockets or do you want like three small pockets on the front or do you want two pockets on the front do you even want a, proc a pocket on the front would you prefer to have a pocket just on the back so these are the decisions you need to make um, you also need to glue the inside part down onto this seam or sew it um, I think I'll go ahead and sew that now, but I think I'm going to do that from the inside just so I don't miss it at all because I'm not sure if it went all the way down. Uh, pretty much did, but I'm just going to um, I'm going to run a stitch all along that and if you're gluing, turn it inside out and this is where you where you would put your glue now you would just run it on the inside down the bottom okay I'll be back in a moment all right so that's done I have sewn a seam inside I have my corners sewn and now it's up to you where you put any other seams you can either leave a big pocket although I do tend to think when you stand a big pocket up you know they they might flap around a little bit so either two pockets or three pockets or no pockets if you don't want any pockets you just run some glue under there now or make a stitch um, under there now so um, I have to make a Make my mind up what I want, don't I? Um, I kind of want to decorate the front. I don't think I need an awful lot of pockets. Uh, I, might, I might just have pockets on my back. Now because I'm going to fully cover my front I've kind of caught my fabric in there. I can go back and unpick that if I want to um, but because I'm going to completely cover the front of my bag I'm going to actually make the worst side my front side. So because that's got a tuck there I'm going to pin that together. I'm not going to have any pockets on my front side that's going to be my fancy, fancy side. So I'll put two pins, oh actually, I'll put, I'll put another one there so I know not to leave any pockets there. On the back side, which is neater, I'm going to, uh, okay, I'm going to divide it into three. I think I want, I want three I actually just want one pocket. You can have three on the back, but I just, I think I will just have, yeah, I'll have three. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I 
is my center. My center is about here. Um, okay. I think I'll put one pocket there, like that. One seam, sorry, one seam there. I'll make it even with the inside of that handle and one here even with the inside of that handle. Now if you're gluing, you're going to glue down there. If you're sewing, you're going to sew down there. I'm going to sew across there. Um, you glue however you want your front piece and I will be back. Alright, so that's that's sewn. I've done my seams. Did, I did two there and I changed my mind and decided I would do two on the other side also. That way it's leaving my options open. I can always glue the pockets shut at a later stage if I want to but I don't have to re-sew them. And inside I've just cut a piece of cardboard just off a packaging box and slipped that inside and see how nicely that will stand up once it's all decorated and it's still a really really good size isn't it um, okay so I'm going to take that out now because I don't need it in there just yet I just wanted to try that out and our bag is ready to be started to decorate so um, I will I will probably glue my decorations on because this is going to be a bag that's going to be sat there with laces and things in it. It's not going to be going out and getting dirty um, either. I also fixed that little tuck that was annoying me before. I unpicked it and re-sewed <laughs> it. So I can have either side as the front or the back. So I have to make my mind up so now I'm going to I've got an idea of what I want to do but it's 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 so much different seeing these things in reality than seeing them you know on the Facebook page
Um, have that thing. What I thought I would do is because it's a, it's not meant to be a, this kind of bag, you know. It's meant to be a shopping bag, obviously. Um, but for me to have it, because I want it standing up like that, so I can put things in. So what I'm going to do, I think, is find some more packaging cardboard and put a piece there and a piece on this side so it will stand up like that. And I still have this, this fabric from the kit. So I thought it, it's big enough to do two pieces, one on either side. I'm not going to do it on the sides simply because there's pockets on the sides there. Um, and, you know, they could come in handy. But I think with having two, it will hold it up the way I want it to be holded up. So that's what I'm going to do there. Just a moment.
Okay, um, I'll just show you. I've glued the feet on at the bottom there. You know, if I find something better than that, it's not quite dry. If I find something better, I will replace those pearls because I'm, you know, maybe it just doesn't need anything. I just thought it did. So, uh, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. Um, yeah, I think I'm done. So I put some photos up anyway. I've got to go and put my son to bed now. It's that time. And this has been a lot of fun putting this together, actually. There we go. There's my bag. All finished off. And I will put some photos up too. Thank you for watching. Bye.